Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today I'll be repainting this Abby Bobinable doll into a winter elf queen. To start, I remove her accessories and clothes. During the process of removing one of her accessories, her head did pop off. Luckily, everything is basically intact. I just kind of have to put the neck peg back in the neck and then seal it in with a little bit of epoxy just to make it a little bit stronger. I next remove her hair by cutting it as close as I possibly can to her head. I also heat up the head so that the glue is more melted and easier to remove. Then scraping the inside of her head to pull out the plugs. Then with tweezers or pliers, I remove the hair and glue from the head. Once all the hair is removed, I wipe the face with 100% acetone, then wash off the acetone with water mixed with rubbing alcohol. And the doll is ready for repainting! For her hair, I am using this multicolored hair. I had this hair for so long I forgot where it came from. Sorry to the person who sells this. I wanted to use this hair because of the blues and the purple tones. I first start by making wefts. Once the wefts are ready, I do also straighten them with a hair straightener. For her hair, I just reroute the front pl plugs. And then use the wefts to cover the rest of her head. For her ears, I start by cutting wire the length I want and bending it in half to form the outline slash armature for the ears. I then layer on epoxy to create the basic shape. Once the, that layer is cured, I add more layers and details to her ears just to like create the shape of how I want them to look. Once all the layers of epoxy are cured, I sand the ears so that I can better create the shape and add more details and make it all smooth. perfectly the same, but they turned out really good for my first try making elf ears out of epoxy. Once I'm happy with how they look, I paint them the same skin tone as the doll. For her accessories, I started by making the mask. I start with protecting the head with a plastic wrap and then I paint on layers of resin curing in between. My first idea for the feathers was to just paint them on in different colors, but it didn't have the 3D effect I wanted, so I cut tiny feather shapes out of plastic. It took forever, but I am very happy with how it turned out. I cut a variety of shapes and sizes, and once I had a lot, I attached them to the mask with resin, and then I painted them with white colored resin. The mask is inspired by the mask from the movie The Huntsman. And the mask is done. Now for her armor piece. It is a little bit complicated or a little bit confusing because it was my first time trying to do this. So I have this like chain mill like material that I thought would be really cool to use or incorporate somewhere into her outfit. So to start I measured like a piece of it against her arm just to see how big I needed it to be to order fit on her arm snug but not too loose. I then cut out two pieces of that.
I then added a ring to the back bottom corner just so that the pieces are attached. I then close the arm sleeves around her arm using some jewelry rings. I then took another piece in a diamond form, basically a square, I just turned it on its side, and then I attached that also to the top corner pieces of the arm piece with some rings as well. And then I just cut the top piece of the diamond off just so it's less floppy. It is also the underside of the material, so the underside is facing out while the shiny part is the arm sleeve part. I then just add some chains to the front pieces. And I attach some chains to the sleeves as well, just changing the design a little bit. For her dress, I didn't really follow any pattern, I just kind of winged it. So to start, I take this shiny fabric, placing it on her body, right side facing in, and sewing along the shape of her body, leaving enough space for it to slide on and off. I then take it off, flip it good side out, and sew the tulle silver fabric to the front, just along the bust area and a little bit into the back, and then I add a closure and the dress is done! For her cloak, I am using the cloak and hood pattern from DG Requiem. To start, I cut the pieces out of this dark blue velvet and this dark blue silk for the lining. For the cloak, I start with sewing along all the sides to attach the lining to the outer layer and then I hem the bottom and the sides. I did the same for the hood pieces. I then hem the front of the hood piece and then attach the front to the back, good sides in. I then close the hood but leaving enough space for the doll's hair to fit out. I finally attached the hood to the cloak and add a closure to the cloak. To start the face, I spray with Mr. Super Clear Matte. For her blushing, I use blues, shimmers, and white. Her ears are going to have a gradient from dark blue to at the tip to light blue. I add shimmers and pastels to her face and blush her nose and lips. I need to get better at keeping the doll in the center screen when I'm doing the face up. Sorry, I will improve going forward. It's just hard because I get distracted and I get in the zone and then I start pulling the doll towards me and away from the camera and it's just, it's a mess. Moving on to her eyes, I use dark blues and purples on the wing of her eye shadow and liner and for the inner eye, I use light colors. I add the whites of her eyes, and for her eye color, I'm going to try and recreate the eye color the Ice Queen has when she use, uses her owl mask. For her lips, I keep it simple with blues and a bit of purple.
I add her eyebrows with the same blues and purples I, that I use for her eyeshadow. I did decide to add a white design to her makeup just to make her look more mysterious and elf-like. I then seal her and add one more layer of shimmer, gloss her eyes and lips, and the doll is done. I also quickly blush her body just with some blues on her hands, her arms, as well as her feet. I do the same thing as I did with the ears, just fading from dark blue to a lighter blue. I also style her hair off camera, I just added a bunch of braids really. And here is the final doll. Again, I'm struggling with giving her a name, so if you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment and I'll change the video title. I hope you all had fun and enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see more and subscribe to catch future videos. Also, I do kind of hold polls on my Instagram occasionally to see what you guys might want to see next or if I need any help with a doll. So just keep, keep that in mind if you want to follow me on Instagram to be more part of my process. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.